So here we have the application that we um, manage with Visual Builder Studio. You can see data that comes from REST service, the REST service data is already there, but if we have a page that uses business object, the data is not there. And the reason is because the life cycle of your code that gets deployed is a separate from the life cycle of your business objects and the data in them. So we deployed our application to our environment. It took the code and deployed it, but it didn't take data for business object and brought it over. Now the deployment has been done by using the build jobs for package and deploy. And what we want to do is we want to add another build job that also loads data into the business object of our application. To do that, we're going to put a set of test data into our Git repository, but we don't want to mix it with the Git repository we already have. We're going to create a separate Git repository over here, specifically for uh, tracking the data files. So we'll call this one data files. You can create an empty one or one with a readme, doesn't really matter. And then we're going to clone this repository onto our own machine, um, directly from for example, a command line over here. So this adds the data files directory to our directory. We can switch over to look at this directory. And then we're going to take a zip file that has um, data that we exported from existing business object uh, into a zip file, and we're going to place it in the same directory. Now we can use the git commands to add the file over to our tracking. Then we're going to commit the changed file over. And we can add a message, of course. And then we're going to push the file to our git repository in the cloud. So now if we go back into this view over here, we can reload to see what we have in the directory and we'll see the new file over here. Let's copy the name of the file because we're going to use it in our build step. So next step is to go over and create a new build job and give it a name. And then for the template, we're going to use the same VM template that we're using for the other Visual Builder build jobs. We're going to then configure our job. And um, first thing is hook it up to the Git repository where the data file is. Okay, so make sure to choose the right one. And in the steps, we're going to pick up one of the visual application steps, which is called import data. Okay. There's uh, several parameters that we need to set here. The first thing is the environment into which we're importing. And then of course the username and password that um, connects us to this environment. And then we need the application root, which is the identification of the application that we're going to deploy to or import data into, and the version as well, because we want to import into that version. Last parameter is the name of the file that we want to import. Again, this is a zip file with the CSV files that have the data backup. Let's build uh, and run this build job right now to see if we are successful. And yet, yeah, finished successfully. We can go into the log and we can see three business objects that were populated from CSV files. So if we go back to our deployed application and we hit the refresh button, this time we have data in the business object. So the page would show up with data fetched from the business object. Now, the last thing we need to do here is go and define the pipeline that currently runs which consists of packaging and deploying the application, we want to configure it and add one more step at the end, which would be to load the data and import data. And this way, every time that we do the deployment of our application, we're going to load data into the business object for testing.